Hello. This is D. Doing a reading for Pisces. Interesting, because uh, Cancer just got done having this card in this slot. <laughs> yep. See the theme going on here? Anyway, you are presenting as the animal. An interesting energy that you have. So, you... You are the animal. Hmm, Pisces. That's not like you. <laughs> You're using your gut instinct and your primal feelings feeling very vital elemental and alive you are being a wild one a he or she wolf <laughs> uh, that's not very like a Pisces <laughs> but welcome to that energy that's a good one to have for sure mm. and then which is awesome. Go get them, Pisces. <laughs> the energy coming towards you is just like Cancer. Cancer has this energy coming towards them. And this energy is a major connection that brings on feelings of gratitude and awakens all your senses. Um, this energy, you know, keep in mind, this is your energy. And the one coming towards you you're either flipping into this energy during the first half of July, or you're having somebody come towards you with this energy. So, um, most likely not work related, but could be, you never know. Um, I see this as some significant relationship in your life. But, yeah, this, this person is um, very devoted, um, and they have feelings of gratitude, and all their senses are awakened because of you. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's fascinating. Okay, so we're going to take three cards on your energy, three cards on this energy coming toward you. And three on the energy between you. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you for the first half of July. Pisces, the animal, the first half of July. What's going on with you? You're not in your normal element. You got some feisty going on. <laughs> Fantastic. Pisces. Whoa. huh? Yep. Oh, wow. These, these cards were out in the Cancer reading, too. So you're appearing as an emperor. Six of vessels. Hanged man. Nice. Let's look at their energy. Energy of the one coming towards the animal. The lover coming towards the animal. The lover coming towards the animal. In case you all weren't aware, we entered the age of Aquarius on June the 20th. Officially. Everybody guesses at that. I happen to know for absolute fact. Something big's coming in December too, but we are indeed in the age of Aquarius now. Day seven. One week in right now. As I record this for you all. Alright. Got three of swords, ten of cups. Any more energy on the liver coming towards the animal? The liver coming towards Pisces. Any more? Yep, there's one. 
All right, full card. Very nice. Okay, done with that deck for right now. All right, so you're presenting with this energy. Feisty Pisces. <laughs> all right, you're presenting as all the kings in the deck. This is an Aries card, very fiery, very, very controlling energy. You're ruling your kingdom for sure. <laughs> Fantastic energy. Um, you're appearing with the Six of Vessels. Um, that means there is likely a past life relationship with this lover. Or they're a sibling. Or somebody you grew up with. And you have a higher, wider perspective over what this relationship is and things in the world, in the material, the holodeck. And spiritually, too. That, that can be not just the holodeck, but you. You know, the 3D, so to speak. But you definitely know the lowdown. <laughs> or you have a higher, wider perspective on the energy of this person coming toward you. This person has suffered some heartbreak of some sort. But they feel like they're in the Ten of Cups energy at the same time. And they're... They're going on a new adventure, taking a leap of faith. It's with you. I'm not sure what, what the... Uh, what the heart, heartbreak's all about. What they're feeling some, some for some reason. Hmm. Maybe the energy between you will show us what that's about. So, A.E. White deck. So, three cards on the energy between Pisces, the animal, and their lover. First part of July. First half. There it is again. That's why I use the AE weight deck for the energy between. Some sort of heartbreak with you two. What? Okay. <clears throat> Anything else going on between the animal and their lover? Doesn't mean you two both sharing a mutual heartbreak of some sort. What is going on here? Alright, Pisces, this is looking good. I wonder what happened here. Can you tell us more about this energy between Pisces and their lover? For the first half of July. Cards not wanting to talk about this? Or are you just lining up the right cards? What is going on between the animal, Pisces, and the lover? First half of the lie. See, that heartbreak's a shared energy between the two of you. And it showed up above them, so. Most likely they experience some sort of loss. But you're both feeling it. Hmm. Any more on the energy between the animal and the lover? Don't like this. Okay. Gotta 
repeater again. Ten of Cups. Underlying energy. All right. So, there's some sort of heartbreak going on between the two of you. Seems to be more in their court, but you're both feeling it. Um, this is forward movement in love with the two of you, regardless of what this heartbreak is. It could be anything. It could be an illness in the family or friends. It could be, you know, anything that would cause both of you some sort of distress. Um, I hope it's not significant. It doesn't seem to be, because the two of you are moving forward in your relationship and communication and love. Um, so, whatever this ding is that's happening on their side, something happens on their side, and you both are sharing that energy, but you're both moving forward together in love, and you, you both have patience, um, you're following your path, And you have hope and faith. And you're both manifesting. Like big dogs. So, there's some sort of... I don't, I'm not sure what this is going to be. But they expect that. First half of July. Something that you both are having some shared heart heartbreak about. But you are moving forward in love. You have great hope and faith and patience following your path. And you're both manifesting. You're both manifesting. And you you both, you know, bottom of the deck, ten of cups. And it shows up here too. Oh, and the two of cups right there, divinely guided partnership. Yeah, this is definitely a significant other. This is... Um, husband, wife, fiance, somebody, yeah, and it is a past life person, um, you've spent time with them before, it's not the first go around for you two, um, you're super balanced and patient, patient and, yeah, the reading's very good, but there is something that's gonna be hurting you both, but you're going to get past it, whatever it is, you support each other, there's balance here, huge balance, temperance card, um, and you're both living in your ten of cups, two of cups, right, and you're both manifesting, wow, okay, that reading surprised me, all right, Pisces, once again, welcome to the age of Aquarius, and this is for your first half of July, 1st through 15th, okay? Anyway, much love. Take care.